The G Pi Mate upgrade for the G Pi case. This is a little portable Game Boy style handheld. And uh, we're gonna bling it out a little bit and we're gonna make a fix to a really nice image, the 128 gigabyte Pi Piggy's image. But to start, we're gonna change out the D-pad, change out to gold buttons and change to uh, proper rare triggers over there. Nice upgrade, especially for someone like me with big hands. This is uh, compliments of Akuma Mod on Etsy. I'll put a link to that uh, channel, but we got rid of all our old ones, put them in. And then this image, look how laggy this is because this image was not installed properly with the GPI Mate. Wow. It was a loose connection. I it's fixed now because look how much better it's playing. So I'm gonna share with you how to make sure the image is working properly and so you can get this type of performance out of the GPI Mate. So let's get into it. All right, so to get started, we gotta disassemble this thing. There's six screws on the exterior here. Well, there's four, and then there's two underneath the battery tray. We are gonna be using uh, four new buttons, 3D printed for the A, B, X, Y. We have a new D-pad, and then we have a new L and R trigger for the rear. The L and R trigger for the rear is super easy upgrade. You don't even have to unscrew the case. You can just flick up those old ones. But So four screws, um, four on there, and then open the battery tray, remove your batteries. There's two on the bottom of the battery tray. Then it's gonna open it up, and I didn't want to take off the ribbon cable, so I just kind of, you know, um, oh, this far I kind of need to pry a little bit. I mean, this it was not that easy to pull this off. Just you know, try not to damage your shell in this step. Once you get it pried off, there's a ribbon cable there for the monitor. I left it on, and I just flipped it up and out of the way. That was not a big deal. Um, now here's where you have quite a few screws here. You got two on the left, two on the right, and then you have one or two in the middle, well, at least one in the middle there. You can see I missed a screw here. I'm trying to pull this off, but I still actually have one more screw on the right side. Yep, there it is. Take that one off, and there we go. Now, here's where I slow it down because you need a little bit more uh, you know, time, and you can use this to make sure you put those rubber pads back on correctly, but super easy, right? You just pull out these buttons, and the new buttons have little tabs to make sure they go in the proper spot. Um, something I messed up on when I put this back in is you might want to remove that start and select button off of the board there and actually just set it into the plastic piece that I'm putting these buttons into. And then the D-pad, you just pull off the rubber, take out the D-pad, put the new one in. And uh, this last segment, I'll actually show you which direction to put the rubbers back on. There you go, follow that. And now putting the screen back in, pretty simple stuff. Uh, the main issue I had was the start and select button wasn't lined up properly, but you could screw these screws in and then just double check before you put the outer shell on that you know your X, A, B, X, Y. And then lastly, this little trigger mod, all you have to do is take the old ones off by prying with a flathead screwdriver. And then there you go, put that batteries back in, put the mod back in the cartridge in, and you're done, that's it. Look, It's all looking good. So it took me a total of 10. All right, it's this part of the video. We're gonna get this image booted properly. Here's the procedure. This is the 128 gigabyte Pi Piggies. Boot the device. All right. Wait until you, after seeing the black screen for one minute, power off, take out a battery. So we gotta wait a minute. All right, white screen, Alexa. Start a timer for 50 seconds. 50 seconds, starting now. Alexa, stop. All right, now we turn it off. We remove a battery. All right, device back on and wait three minutes. So this part says you had to wait three minutes, but I'm actually playing this in real time from when I turned on the switch in the same time code in this video. And you can see it only took me about 20 or 30 seconds and it just booted right into a track mode. It did not take me three minutes, but it's definitely playing properly now as we saw from the beginning of the video. This image is working flawlessly now. 
huge improvement. Damn. Streamcast. Okay, well, select is the exit button for that game. <laughs> I was thinking that doesn't have two triggers, but whatever. Let's watch these old commercials now really quick. They're finally running correctly. <laughs> Those are cool. Play some Capcom Classics. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. It was not running this well. So I see why so many people have had issues with it. I had issues myself. But I think if you follow those directions, I did it literally step by step, and you can follow my video. Um, I think it'll help a lot of people. Smack! Dang, that one punch door break? That's what I'm talking about. Where's my gun at? Can I pick up guns eventually? I'll get this turkey first though, if you know what I'm saying. Just got a salad. There we go. Get wrecked, kid. Gotta conserve that ammo. Oh. Oh, need that gun. Oh. Oh, I need a. I actually rather have this gun, the Uzi. All right, so that's working great. Sega Dreamcast, a little bit of lag, but that's to be expected. Uh, all your portables are going to run just fine. And then in order to do that, you just go to settings over here. Reboot to emulation station. So it's got to load up all the systems and everything. You can change the themes in here as well. It's on Hey Chromey. We got the GPI Hey Chromey. Um, I wonder what the Hey what the what the Hey Chromey GPI looks like. So it does take a little second to refresh. Right now it's just loading, and then we can go back in. Mm, it looks I think that looks better. You can definitely now see what's kind of going on You know within the different collections But uh, here's the image you got 53 70 hundreds 76 links 
24 Thomas Wave, 144 Commodore 64, 145 Coley Co. Daphne, you got three Dreamcasts, you got five Family Computer System, because one of the Dreamcasts is an emulator. Family Computer System 43, Game & Watch 52, Game Gear 249, Game Boy, all of them over 500, over 1000 Game Boy Advance. Then you got some Game Boy Advance hacks. And again, remember this is rocking video snaps as well. You can do your own ratings to this stuff. Um, let's see if you hit select. Okay, you got the game jump. Uh, what do I want to do here? Go back. I want to hit select. Okay, so there's no screen savers, but you can pause the screen if you want. Game Boy Color, 538. Game Boy Hacks, 19. Game Boy Genesis Hacks, 191. Game Gear Hacks, 4. Cody, Sega Master System, 280. Mega Drive, over 500. Mega, uh, Mega Drive Japanese, 278. MSX 700, MSX 283, N64, a lot. It looks like there's some hacks in here as well. And these are going to run now. Naomi 15, Nintendo DS 171, Neo Geo 143. Uh, I want to play Metal Slug again because in my last video it was lagging. And I have a feeling now it's going to run no problem. So I think I played Metal Slug 3, right? Yeah. Um, I know I stopped, but there's like over 2,000 arcade games with all the CPS games. Um, it's pretty much just, you know, full collections all the way around for all those systems from Atari all the way up to Dreamcast, including Daphne. The only ones that I don't see on here are like 3DO, Sega Saturn's not going to run, GameCube's not going to run, Wii's not going to run. Alright, let me put the volume back on. Alright, now this should run at full speed. I have no doubt this is going to run at full speed. Way better. Ooh. I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. Super grenade. Oh. You're welcome. Alright, so that's running great. So, uh, Nintendo 869 hacks, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, Open Bore, PC games, just, there's nothing actually in there. PC Engine 289, Ports, you got a couple of open source games here Streets of Rage, Super Mario War, uh, Power. You can also get to your power by just hitting start and going down to quit. PlayStation 43. If you're wondering what PlayStation games, here you go. Crash Bandicoot, Dino Crisis, Grand Theft Auto, Metal Slug on there as well. And that looks like it's going to run, and all the Tony Hawks. That looks like it's going to run no problem as well. And then you got your options. Sega Genesis 32X, 36, Sega CD 19, Super Famicom 22, SG-1000, uh, 68, Super NES, all of them. Super NES Hacks, 37, Steam Link. Super Graphics 5, Turbo Graphics 10, Turbo Graphics 16, 94, Vetrix 40, Video Pack 99, Virtual Boy 24, Wonder Swan, Wonder Swan Color, X1, Infocom 6, Eclair, Macintosh, nothing there. And then it's a total of 18,000 games. Oh, we started at Atari, so Amiga 3300, CPC 3300, Arcade 2300. So there you have it. This is the Pie Piggies. 128 gigabyte image properly working now and uh, this is the I'll put a link to this the Akuma store he hooked me up with the d-pad upgrade the gold buttons and the upgraded paddles so really cool stuff paddles super simple you don't have to open the case to put on these you have to put on the open the case to put on and uh, overall, this thing just keeps getting better and better. So I'll put links to everything in the description. That's what I think. Loving this setup. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.